Our first guest tonight was our friend named Phoebe for 236 episodes of the show that will never go away, and she's sick and tired of hearing about it. So please don't bring it up when she comes out. She's done other things, for God's sake. She plays Cool Aunt Heidi in the new musical comedy Better Nate Than Ever. It premieres April 1st on Disney+. Plus. Please welcome Lisa Kudrow. <laughs> See you. How you doing? Everything all right? Are you sick Great. of hearing about friends? Be honest. If no, you are, I'm not. Okay, good. How often do you get, like in a week, how many times does the word friends come up? If I leave my house, mm -hmm. um, like two times a day. Two times a day? Yeah. Oh, all right. Depends on how many people I see. That's reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> how about you? Uh, if, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to start paying attention to see yeah. if people mention You'll it to see. me. You'll see. It'll yeah. come up. <laughs> you think it'll creep up on me. <laughs> Hey, I know you. You watched Friends. Yeah. <laughs> you interviewed many people from Friends. <laughs> you, uh, speaking of interviewing people from Friends, your friend Courtney Cox was yeah. here a few weeks ago, and she was talking about this, this. She has these, like, jam sessions at her house. Oh, yeah. That are unbelievable. Yeah, Have you yeah. been to these things? Not with the terribly fancy folk, but sometimes, yeah. Now, when you say terribly fancy, I mean, you are not exaggerating in the slightest bit because, as I recall, it was Ed Sheeran. Yeah. Uh, Brandy Carlisle. Yeah. And Elton John. Sir Elton John. Sir Elton John. Yeah. Who's a knight. <laughs> who's legally allowed to behead people in England, if he, if he so chooses. <laughs> and they sat down at the piano, Courtney playing the piano, yeah. and dedicated a song, which they posted to Instagram, to you. I know. Lisa Kudrow, this is for you. One, two, three. They did your Tony Danza song from oh, Friends. I, uh, and, did, I mean, honestly, like I Courtney knows I don't look at Instagram uh -huh. every day or even every week. So she texted me and said, look what I just posted. And I went, Ed Sheeran said my name. What's next? And then it's like, oh, Brandi Carlo, Courtney's, but that's Elton John. What's happening? And then uh, I just didn't even know what to do. Yeah, that's got to be, because you have to respond to that, right? I didn't at first. And no. then I went, oh, no, I have to. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah. You do have to, yeah. And so I thought, well, OK. And I wasn't thinking that clearly. It was just, well, this is my sense of humor. Um, they did it wrong. What do you mean? <laughs> it's supposed to be hold me close, young Tony Danza. Not and they didn't, that's not what they did. Hold me closer, Tony Danza. So you <laughs> told Elton John that he got the words to the song, you got wrong, wrong. Yes. To his song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And. <laughs> I did. And where were you when, when Courtney sent you that text and you um, started playing it? I was all alone shooting better in Nate than ever. Oh, you were? What? I was in New York. What do you yeah. mean all alone? Well, I was living alone in an apartment by myself. I see. Oh, and you weren't on the set. <laughs> all alone. That would oh, be funny. Yeah, though. well, I don't, yeah, it would be <laughs> weird if they just left you to they your own They just let me, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> no, I was alone in my, Oh, you know, even worse. So you didn't have like, anybody oh my God. to go crazy to no with. one. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty, yeah. that is, I, I mean, uh, what a strange world, it huh? Is. But also, I mean, look, even when I went to work, I was still excited, but it's not like I could go. <laughs> I look, thought, yeah, I don't know. Like, what am I going to do? Like, say cut, because I think everyone on the crew would be pretty amused I by. I would have. I absolutely yeah, I would can't. have. I can't. There's no question. I, I would have stopped everything and said, everybody, <laughs> look at what Elton just sang to me. Um, you know, uh, we talked, uh, obviously, about, uh, you know, friends, but there's another sh movie that you were a part of that there was a reunion. A, I don't know if you call it a reunion, right. but you and, you and Mira Servino got together at the uh, SAG Awards yeah. uh, in character as Romy and Michelle. Yeah, yeah. And people, <laughs> well, me, who, whose idea was it to do this? Well, SAG asked us to do it, but okay. Mira said, okay, I think, you know, she doesn't do anything halfway, by the way, Mira okay. Sorvino. And she said, all right, we have to wear ensembles. And I just went, oh, no. 
And I can't. So you wore, uh, well, you wore the colors that you guys wore. Yeah, but I, someone said tuxedo jackets are trending. I went, oh, great. So a pink tuxedo. And then I saw that my stylist said, look at that. And it's sequins. Did you have any idea uh, what the reaction that people would react so strongly to it, both in the audience and online as well? No. No, I they know. did. I thought, oh, well, it'll be fun for like the 20 people who care, and you know. Uh huh. And some of you them. You guys might really did get into it though after uh, you presented backstage. I mean, <laughs> yeah. that's where you really started. That was my idea. And is there any talk that, the that you may have a high school reunion reunion movie, another one? Um. Yeah. No. There is. Robin Schiff has. Yeah, she's been asked. So Just, this like, is the first she that. thought of that when you guys presented at the SAG no, Awards? No, no. I think she had been asked before. Like okay. before that and was thinking of ideas and then this. And she's like, well, OK. And you guys are both enthusiastic about doing this? Yeah, I think it would be fun. Yeah, it would be fun, right? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of the perfect thing to have a reunion of a reunion movie in the first place. Yeah, I think it would be really, I think it could be very funny. And maybe you can get Elton John and Ed Sheeran to do the soundtrack. I'm, <laughs> I don't know why we wouldn't be able to. We're, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to see a, a clip from uh, the new movie called Better Nate Than Ever. Yeah. Lisa Kudrow is here. We'll be right back. Oh, OK, yeah, you know, so I'm not the best singer, but there was this trick I used to use for musicals, OK? You hold the sheet music, right? Like, you know, you haven't really fully memorized the song. And then halfway through, just casually let it drop to the floor. like. Wait, not only do I know this song, I'm going to blow you away in the final verse. That is Lisa Kudrow in Better Nate Than Ever, which premieres April 1st on Disney+. Plus. The, um, it's a musical. Do you sing in this movie? Absolutely not. No. no. Do you remember when we played husband and wife in the animated movie Boss Baby, and I they surprised remember. us and told us we had to sing? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Someone on staff started that round of applause, but, <laughs> and we were both like, oh no, we don't want to sing. And they're like, yeah, and we were like, no, we just don't want to sing. And they, and they were like, yeah, no, just sing a bedtime story or yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, you know, Blackbird. Yeah, right, the right. Beatles. By the way, the I did sing it. Like then, you know, we go in a million times, not together. Yeah. And I did it and I thought it was really sweet and lovely what I did, like uh -huh. what a mother, and they went, okay, can you just like do it completely differently and a little more, I was like. <laughs> No, I can't. So in this one, you knew going in, you were there were no surprises. You knew that the musical, that the kids, there's a lot of teenagers in this movie. Yeah, yeah, they're like, it's about a 13-year-old boy and his best friend, and, and that's Ruby Wood, who's phenomenal, you'll see, and um, Aria Brooks, also phenomenal, you'll see, and uh, Joshua Bassett, who's already a big deal from High School Musical. Was it so, fun to work with these kids, with teenagers, a group of them? They were so, yeah, it was really fun. They're really Really nice and very respectful and a lot smarter than I am or ever was. Do they ask yeah. you for advice? Do they want to know like how things go and how to plan <laughs> and that kind of stuff? Yeah, yeah, no. I was asked, um, <laughs> Aria asked about uh, career longevity. <laughs> really? Yeah, <laughs> that's what she wanted to know about. I was like, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you had nothing to share? I was like, I get on a show like Friends? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Get on Friends. <laughs> like, That's good. <laughs> there are a bunch of audition scenes in the movie I know. Do you remember like your first big audition, one that you really wanted? Oh, God. OK, I remember, yeah, I had a bad experience. Oh, uh, a bad one, OK. Yeah, it's all my own fault. Um, I got to audition for Larry Sanders. Oh, one of the best shows ever, yeah. Ever. Uh-huh. Gary Shandling, who was a god, comedy god. 100%. To, me, to everybody. Yeah. And I was so excited. I was like, well, this is perfect. Because I did have this like, pretty dry sense of humor, you know, like at a restaurant, if, if the waiter was saying, so, you know, tonight we're offering sand dabs. And I'd say, oh, all of you are? We all? All, yeah. all of you? Like, what? yeah. But I couldn't help it. Like, any little, you know, like any bump in language. I was uh -huh. like, uh, what's that? And so <laughs> at the audition, I guess I was doing a similar thing. And I think, you know, the casting director, someone said, all right, so now we're going to do this scene. And I said, oh, yeah, OK, but should it just be he and I? And 
<laughs> you know, no tell, no smile, no, I'm not. And they're just like, yeah, no, that's right. And Gary said, no, no, we will read it together. Oh. And we did. <laughs> and then I. Even Gary didn't get it. Yeah, OK. I don't know. But I didn't. They didn't know me. I right. forgot. That's part of it. And um, and then I was done. Like, thank you. We'll, 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 we'll be in touch. OK, and I'm walking down the hall. It was a really long hall. And I'm walking down the hall, and then I hear the door open, and I turn around, and it's Gary Shandling sort of <laughs> looking like to make sure I'm gone. And he said, uh, we'll be in touch. We really will. <laughs> and then closed the door. I went, I scared Gary Shandling? <laughs> Was that the case? Did you scare Gary? I don't did you ever discuss this with him later on? No. No. Never brought it up. You never brought it up. No. Whoa! Wow. Did they call? Did they, were they in touch? No. They were. <laughs> no. They oh, thought didn't. there was something wrong with me. Who wound up getting that part? Well, Janine Garofalo. Oh, that was Janine Garofalo's yeah, so, part. Yeah. I'm like yelling at you. Why don't you, <laughs> you know everything? See, this is what got you on the wrong foot with Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess it all worked out, right? <laughs> well, of course, if, if you can have Jean, Janine Garofalo, it should be Janine Garofalo. She, well, so. Janine Garofalo yeah. was great on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah you yeah. would have been great, too, had you not scared Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's great to see you. Uh, the movie is called Better Nate Than Ever. It premieres April 1st on Disney+. Plus. Lisa Kudrow, everybody. Thank you, Lisa. We'll be back with Michael Chiklis. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button. So please click now. I'm hungry.